Now restaurants around town could soon get some more help as they try to get through some challenging times. This is at the center of an important county vote later this morning. News 8's Allison Royal live in Normal Heights now to explain more on this. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, Eric and Netta. So we know that restaurants have had quite a teeter-totter of emotions over the past year. I mean, open, close, open, close. It's almost comical, but certainly not for them who have dealt with these incredibly challenging times. And that includes some of these businesses here in Normal Heights, an area that is thriving with local businesses and cute little restaurants on every corner. So restaurants, in some cases, need a lifeline. Some are reporting that foot traffic is still down to about half of what it was. Some say it's closer to 60%. Others say their business is down 20 but nonetheless, County Supervisor Jim Desmond said that he has a way to possibly help. He announced a proposal to help those struggling restaurants, and part of that proposal would waive permit fees for all San Diego County restaurants for the fiscal year 2021 through 2022. To give you an idea, that is savings each year between $1,000 and $2,000. According to San Diego County, this would all be thanks to the America Rescue Plan Act. Opponents of the proposal said they are worried that this would hinder the county restaurant safety inspections. However, County Supervisor Desmond said that the county will continue to run the inspections as well as enforce other safety precautions that we have gotten used to over the past year. But restaurant owners said even one or two grand really helps when they need it. Not everyone's going to come right back on June 15th or, or even now and go to the restaurants. There's still going to be, a, a, you know, consumer confidence that has to get built in, and that's going to take time. And these restaurants have already taken a beating throughout last year and will continue this year until they can get back and be fully operational. And that board meeting starts around 9 o'clock this morning, and we're going to bring you the latest information to see what the next steps are for this proposal if any but again we've gotten so used to eating outside and these restaurants have been so versatile with adapting and getting creative with all of these social distancing solutions so maybe there is a way to help these restaurants Netta and eric